This is the Trezor One. It is one of the hardware wallets that you will use for your multi-sig wallet. The first step to setting up your Trezor One is to unbox it. These boxes are notoriously difficult to open, which is intentional, so that if somebody has ever tampered with it, you'll know. I recommend using a knife to open up the Trezor box. In the box, you'll find the device and the cord. The next step is to plug in your device and you'll see that the Trezor device has turned on. Once you plug in your Trezor device into your computer, you'll want to install the firmware. Sometimes you will be prompted to install Trezor Bridge first. You want to click install firmware. Once you install firmware, you'll want to disconnect your Trezor and plug it back in. And you're gonna have to do this one more time. So unplug it and plug it back in. Next, you're going to choose create wallet. Then you're going to create a backup in three minutes. Then click I understand and continue. Now you'll notice that the first word appears on your Trezor device. We're not gonna write down the recovery seed for your Trezor because we already wrote down the recovery seed for your Ledger Nano S. The reason for this is because CASA recommends a mostly seedless setup. That means you'll only keep one seed phrase out of the three hardware wallets. Given this, you're going to click the next button 48 times and not write down the seed phrase for your Trezor. And then you're going to click continue on your computer, click confirm on your device, and you'll see a number pad appear. Normally, a number pad goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, from top left to bottom right. However, notice that the number pad has been scrambled for your Trezor 1. In order to enter in the pin for your Trezor, you need to match the number that you're entering with the black dots that you see on your screen. And remember, the pin should be the same as the one that you set for your Ledger Nano S. Click enter pin, and then you're going to re-enter your pin one more time. Then you're going to click continue, continue, and now you're going to name your device. We're going to call this office. Click confirm, and then we're going to type in your pin one more time. Click confirm. Then you can click continue, continue, skip the step, click continue, then finish. Then you want to forget your device. And then you can disconnect your Trezor. Your Trezor now has been fully set up and is ready to be connected to your Casa app. You cannot put this off to the side.